Callum and I were messing around in the game and we discovered how to recreate the flashbang bug, where you fill the text box with a huge yellow block of colour and you have a massive yellow square <laughs> here above your own head, what? which will fill everyone else's vision. Not necessarily dangerous, but incredible. <laughs> Just to catch you guys up, there was an exploit in New World where, okay, so pretend that this playlist right now is my New World window. So if you have it in borderless window and you like exit out and you wiggle, the way the game is designed is your client doesn't receive any information. So you can like do a roll and then mid roll, you can like wiggle your shit and you're basically invulnerable. Josh did a video on it and then I did a reaction video of it and it's super funny. That was the first like exploit. This exploit is even better. So let's watch this, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Stratez, and on my screen, you can see a giant yeah. sausage. Now, I will stop making these little update videos once New World realizes that exactly how dangerous find out. its client is. The things we've seen so far, unlimited health by rolling and moving the window around, I mean, that's silly, it's funny to an extent. The auction house not sending people gold, that's irritating, but if Amazon can track that, then they can reimburse people. That's not a problem. What if mm -hmm. I told you the text box in the game allows you to code? What if I told you the general text box, the general chat, the area chat, the zone chat, or even the private message chat allows you to directly inject code into it to manipulate what the other person sees? It can allow you to pull images from the item files and resize them to a custom size like I've done with this pile of sausages here. <laughs> or, and this is what I'm going to show you, Okay, I don't want to see New World fail, but I'm going to be honest here. All of these failings that New World like has done has been very funny. I think that the New World devs are extremely cocky based on their tweets and the how and how they've presented some of their stuff. This game should have been way fucking better considering it was from Amazon. Way fucking better. So, whenever you have these devs or these like Twitter personalities, man, that like represent a game, whenever they're like kind of cocky or whatever, I always like to see them fall. The devs of this game or whatever like the twitter shit of this game it was just really bad for those of you that don't know they were like extremely cocky in the sense that like someone was like new world the 14 killer and then the actual like you know official new world responded with like go on really like just the ego the overconfidence the cockiness just leaves a bitter taste in my mouth dude know what i'm saying it allows you to send a single line of code that when someone hovers their cursor over it, will instantly crash their game. And okay, how the fuck was this game released? And I want to know how it is even possible to defend this, because apparently he got a lot of shit, and apparently the people on the New World forums, it's like beyond White Knight. It's beyond Simp. It's like a new word. You know, I don't even know what it could be, but it's like a super White Knight teamed up with a Simp. That's the type of copium. And you can put this in general chat, and anyone can do it. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. New oh. world is full of bugs. We know this, and they're oh, as they just go. Being disappointed. Able to roll and place yourself in invulnerable stasis, spam crouching in the oh. healing aura to heal faster, getting the permanent bloodlust proc from a great axe, so you're permanently moving 30% faster and doing 15% more damage. These are all annoying, but they're not game breaking, as in they don't literally break the game when they happen. But this, this does exactly that. I'm not an expert on coding, so I grabbed professional coder, fellow YouTuber, and good friend Callum Upton to explain it to me in very simple terms, and then I'll show you it happening. I am not going to tell you the code or how to do this, because I want Amazon to fix it. Amazon's so fucking lucky that he didn't show that code. Fix it before people start using it maliciously. I just want to light a fire under Amazon so they are aware anyone can He do shows it. it? Callum, thank you for taking the time to talk to me about this. No problem. Now, Cal, you know way more about coding than I do, and uh, that's because I know very little about coding, and you know quite a lot about coding. So, as far as I am concerned, the text box is just a box that you type words in and other people see them. I wouldn't imagine it could be used for coding, but apparently it can. So, could you just explain what's happening with this? Right, so... Wait, it's on Reddit already? Can you link me that Reddit thread? I want to see the code. Essentially, it's I'll a fucking website. show it. I don't give a shit about it. I'll fucking show that shit. So, HTML works like boxes. 
uh, containers and you put containers inside containers to contain the containers above them and it's kind of like a list and that's what we use the little pointed brackets for exactly yeah so now in every code in language there's something called an escape character so in python i think off the top of my head i think it's a hashtag and basically anything after the hashtag uh, sorry a backslash will just be treated as not code it basically says anything after this point until i tell you otherwise is not code now okay. what they've got is they've got the text i don't know frame, anything about code a html frame and each message is a box inside of that now what they forgot to do is say hey don't allow any boxes inside these boxes so the text that you're putting into the chat is being treated as direct html code which is one of the stupidest mistakes i've i've seen in gaming like over the years now we could forgive them for this if it wasn't the first time it had happened this has happened before in world of warcraft yes yeah it's, it's actually quite funny because it was me this happened in wow oh, okay okay keep watching all right, all right me and some friends that exposed this in world of warcraft a couple of years back and um it was a big one you could link images of literally <laughs> any size because in, in the text, you could define the image resolution, and I bet you can actually do that in New World. Saw this, wait, saw this in trade chat tonight and figured out how to do it. Hilarious results. What you want to do first is find where your macros are stored in your WoW install directory. World of Warcraft, retail, what the fuck account, your account here, macros, cache. Copy these lines in anywhere to make the macro. Oh my god. I've done that already. I've resized a sausage. Yeah, yes, I did see that. I didn't know if that was default sausage size. No, but... no that is that is definitely enhanced. <laughs> you hear how he said that, dude? It's definitely enhanced. Yo, that's what I tell my dates, dude. When they say, is that normal size? It's definitely enhanced. Okay. By well, dates, yeah, I mean that's, no. That's how that works. And there's, there's potential for a lot worse, depending on what their text box accepts. So let's say uh, World of Warcraft at the time that this was a bug, had automated messages that Good go out saying, hey, it's time for our weekly nope. live stream, and had a link. So they'd made the text box accept links, or hypertext. So if New World has has got that in, has got some sort of notifications of their own that have links, potentially you could be hiding links as images and just sending out malware. Right, I haven't seen it. Oh my god! You could summon the Hydra in general chat. Oh my god. For those of you playing New World, have you seen a Hydra in the chat? Will now, Keck W. Oh my god. I gotta tell you, you New World memers are slacking, dude. Right when you guys saw this video, the first image that should have been put in the chat was that fucking Hydra. It only works with images in game. Okay. Okay. Yet, yeah. Yeah. Sorry on this, those man. It's not there. Now, when uh, yeah. we when we do the replacing image trick, what it does is it calls upon the images stored on the local machine on the client's computer. So it's not like we're uploading images and then just letting no, people see anything. Just referencing. Right. So the danger is if there's anything in the new world files that players shouldn't see that was there for testing purposes that hasn't been removed that is meant yep. to be a secret that is meant because in world of warcraft you found a was it a 4k <laughs> resolution image of a wheelchair of a wheelchair yeah and that was because they'd got it on the box art but for some reason they'd uploaded the full 4k image into the game file but <laughs> I, I don't know why <laughs> but because but it yeah was nobody there, knew it was there you would said and make it appear whoa yeah. So putting images up is funny. That can be silly. You know, that's that's yeah. Are those that's your nuts, that can sir. Be, can be stopped, and they're probably going to be able to change this Yo, pretty quickly nuts. from being able to accept yeah, code to not being able to accept yeah, code. Yeah, really quick fix. But what I'm going to show in the video in a second, and this is the problem, is you can inject a very very simple bit of code. You're talking like one or two lines mm -hmm. that makes people crash the moment they hover over the text that's in yes. between, because you've got the code, plain text then the end of the code, and if you hover over the plain text, which is all that appears, so it doesn't look any different, mm -hmm. it crashes the client immediately. Yes, so this is a massive oversight. Um, mainly, what they allow the you to edit this at all. Mm. Because essentially what... Uh, I won't read the line of text, obviously. No, but we don't want to tell people what it is. We want, we want them to part... fix it. Yeah, we... 
Wait, that's all you have to do. Just link the item in chat for the last part. This is all you have to, wait. Lishune images, icons, items, consumable, sausage, height, 1000. That's all you have to do. Just link the item. It's an item that doesn't exist. <laughs> We want them to fix it, but to, to explain how that's happening, uh, you're basically putting in a load of gibberish in the item data field, mm -hmm. and your client is looking at a local database of item data to try and find this, you know, it's this fucking data that it's follow. requesting. And the way they're doing it is they've just got a for loop through the database to find it. And... It can't find it because it doesn't exist. So it loops and then it'll start again and again and again. And it just loops because it can't find it. And your client runs out of memory and crashes. So what's what the player sees is a bit of text that I've written. And when yeah. they hover their mouse over oh my it, God, what the computer trees. sees is code to find very specific value. Exactly. And then they try and look for the value. It's not there. They try and look. It's not there. They try and look. It's not there. Crash. Yeah. Imagine I say to you, go to the library and find me this book. And I insist to you that it's in there. But it's not. You, you'll just be looking forever. And then eventually you run out of energy and die. And die, yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening. Damn. It's a, such a big error, but mm. an easy one to fix. And Damn. It, it's weird because this has happened so many times before in MMOs that they just don't sanity check anything. When you send a message, the server should at least check that the data you're... I want to know, like, realistically... There's so many bugs with this fucking game, right? Keep in mind this game was delayed for a while. This game was delayed multiple times. And yet this still happened. I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy, but there are some definitely real shitter games out there like Classic Ion, you know, Terra, you know, all of that shit. And to my knowledge, none of them were this bad. Now, how the fuck can they get that right? But this new MMO, this new world fucks this up so fucking bad. How was this massive oversight? Like, how did it happen? Whenever you come out with a game, it should just be assumed that you're going to have people that buy the game literally to try to see if they can do this shit. You're putting in there is valid data at all. Right. But it so doesn't. I'm going to go and do this now to prove that it works. And yep. I want to just reiterate to everyone, because you've got a video coming out on but New Tara World as had well. had big soon, ass titties. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I will link to that in the description. If anyone's yeah, interested that's true. in more kind of coding development yeah. side of it, Callum's channel is Man. a fantastic, fantastic look into how things work. He was the guy that pretty much absolutely blew open Dream World. So thank you very, very much, Cal, for taking the time to talk to me. And I will see no problem you at all. probably on Monday for the Tangent Tavern, where we'll likely be talking about this more. Yeah, oh god yeah, absolutely. In fact, while this video was rendering, Callum and I were messing around in the game and we discovered how to recreate the flashbang bug, where you fill the text box with a huge yellow block of colour and you have a massive yellow square <laughs> above your own head, what? which will fill everyone else's vision. Not necessarily dangerous, but incredible. <laughs> with a huge yellow block of colour, and you have a massive yellow square appear <laughs> above your own head, which will fill everyone else's vision. Not necessarily dangerous, but incredibly irritating in PvP. For more information on this, hop over to Callum's channel. Right, I've no got to head off. Thank you for your time, Cal. Take care. You're very welcome. Speak later. The fact the general text box accepts code <laughs> at all is ludicrous. It's a mistake World of Warcraft made back in 2000. Now that's a nice looking sausage, man. I gotta, I gotta text tell you, dude. That's code a... at all is ludicrous. Dude, that's a nice looking sausage. Yeah. It's a mistake World of Warcraft made back in 2004. So now I can show you the trouble it could cause. Now some people have messaged me saying, Josh, are you sure you're not going to get into trouble with Amazon for talking about these bugs, these exploits, maybe even no. showing footage of them? No, he wouldn't I get don't in trouble. Think so. Why would he get in because trouble? Allow me to show you one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Potentially <laughs> the dumbest thing I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> this is the official New World forums. And this is the bugs and exploits reporting section. You can scroll down and you can see all of the bugs and exploits that people have been reporting so far. And you can click on them. And you can read them through. But here's an interesting thing. Okay. The official reporting of a bug and an exploit actually requires you to list how you reproduce the bug. What? What are the... 
Wait, so if you report a bug, they're so lazy and they're so ignorant that they want you to tell them how you fucking got it. So anybody steps to reproduce the issues as you experienced. Not even a support ticket. It's just out there on the forums. Holy shit. I mean, I can understand like a ticket, right? Like you put in this ticket and you're like, hey, you know, I found this exploit. Here's how I was able to create it. Okay, only the only people that are going to see that are the, well, the person and the company, right? Or, you know, the bug testers or whatever. That's fine. Dude, on a fucking forum? Okay. That is a question the bug report asks you. That is something the forum wants you to fill in. Are there not support tickets in New World? I don't play New World. I just like hearing all this shit about New World. Here's the thing about New World. People put all these hours into New World and they're like, yeah, I've been having fun. Okay, well, I've been having fun too. I haven't spent any time on New World. It's just all of this shit that I hear about. It's very entertaining to me. Who needs support tickets when there are no bugs? Okay, that's true. And that's true. Read them. That's true. So you can just go through all of the bug reports and find... What are the steps to reproduce the issue you experienced? Attempt to add items to storage that do not overburden the storage shed. Some items were able to be added, almost 100 weight, but others such as Brilliant Cut, Car Carnelian, whatever, Life Staff and Tanner's Hat were not able to be added despite weight being much lower. Exactly how to do every single one of them. Oh shit, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think, I think those were the rules actually. Exactly how to do Please make sure you fill out all of the following information before submitting a report. Don't forget to check the known issues list to see if your issue is currently being worked on. Okay, so there's no support ticket? We have also existing workarounds for, okay, what is your character's name and world? What server world did you experience? Describe the issue you're experiencing. Is there a bug or an exploit? If it's a bug, how did the issue affect your gameplay? Were you able to recover from the issue? Please include a screenshot or video of the issue that you have experienced. And I imagine you post the video on the forums. So not only do you get an explanation, but you also get a fucking video footage too. So you just have this like massive fucking public forum and you're just like, hey, I have this game breaking issue. Yeah, let's put that shit right there. <clears throat> yeah, review that. Every single one of them. You can link an item in the general chat, but request the item be preceded by an image held within the game's files, and you can set the custom- Dude, that's like the tutorial section. Yeah, that's the how-to section. No, that's not a fucking bug report forum. That's a tutorial forum, man. <laughs> the size of the image to be displayed, so it can completely fill the text box like this sausage. Or, if you choose an item file that does not exist, nice you get sausage, a bright right? yellow texture not found image, which in many ways is worse. Imagine 15 people in general chat spamming this, because that is possible to do literally <laughs> right now. But here's the true problem. You can write a code, then put in some plain text and link an item, all normal normal looking, but when people hover over the text you've written or the item you've linked, the client will crash. Because where you as a player see text, when the cursor touches it, your game sees a request it cannot possibly complete. The team behind New World have left the ability for the text box to accept single, simple lines of code in, and this means the ability for the text box to accept single, simple lines of Oh my god! Right in New World have left the ability Right when he hovers over Forsaken Life Staff of the Zealot. If I hover over this text, uh, I will crash the game. For the text box to accept single See you New World Raider in and this means if you know what to write, you can make other people's game clients. Okay, so hold on, so let's see. So New world so this is obviously an item. This is an item in the game, but it's not in the game. Because when you hover over it, the game tries to check to see if it's there. But because it's not there, it does that memory shit that the one guy was talking about. For the text box okay. to accept single, <clears throat> simple lines of code in. And this means if you know what to write, you can make other people's game clients display images they should not be able to display. Quite possibly play sounds they should not be able to play. So wait, let me ask you guys this question. Has anyone typed in the chat, oh my god, I found this really cool item. And then they linked it and then like the entire fucking server crashes. Or OMG, a rare spawn. Has anyone done that?
with a few friends over a few hours, we were able to replicate it quickly and consistently. I did not put this in general chat, but if I had done, I could have crashed every single player who moused over it. Imagine writing, oh my god guys, just got the best sword ever, check out these stats, then linking an item with this code active on it. Anyone who hovers over the text or the item I linked would crash their game. That is the reality of New World right now. Unlimited health while rolling is an oversight. Breaking your auction house while offline is annoying but ultimately fixable. This, however, is dangerous. Callum Upton's channel is linked in the description and he will have more information on this as he uncovers it. I do not want New World to die. I want to explore a tournament in a fun, safe and stable game, but until Amazon Games Studios show they are able to make that, I have to be extremely wary of every single line of text I see. Dude, I know it's look at the chat. I'm like looking at the chat to see if anyone links it. Just you, man. This server is so dead, man. Lol. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before someone finds how to inject code which affects trading, combat, or items, either theirs or mine. So until your text box doesn't accept code, which it never should have done in the first place, I have to treat this game as extremely dangerous. Thank you wow, for watching. Hold on. As usual, thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So it can be, so it can be anything. Look, because right now it says Flint Arrow. Yeah, it could be literally anything. Holy shit. So every single link is a potential game crash. Thank you for watching. As usual, thank you to the Patreon supporters and Twitch subs who keep the channel alive. Check the video description for links to the Patreon, Twitch, Twitter. Damn. It's a strange time for content creators. We want to play the game that isn't broken, but so much opportunity for top shelf content. Asking people to describe exactly how to reproduce a bug is standard Q&A stuff. Yeah. Showing those to your users. Oh my lord. This game doesn't need anti-cheat nor anti-hacks. It successfully made a discover your own god mode feature in the core programming of the game itself. Please do make more updates. I personally am enjoying every piece of it. Yo, me too. Oh my god. How me and my server are responding to the images in chat. No, you can't do that. Report, report, mute and block, report. Haha, <laughs> big sausage. <laughs> Let's see, people were telling me in PMs that I am going to get banned and how their whole group reported me. Yeah, they didn't ban people for doing the exploits, but they definitely going to ban me for posting nuts in the chat.